Getting started with Kimetrix Live is really easy. When you sign up uh, to, for a demo access, you will receive an email with your credentials. Just go here, installation tips, that explain how to set this up. We're going to follow this guide through. So we go to the RPBX. We have to add uh, our repository. In this case, it's already installed. So we just type yum install wq loader d. It's going to install everything. So we have to edit the configuration. We have to enter uh, the host that is uh, in our case, it's typically my qmatrix live.com port 80. The context is the name of your instance, so in this case it is demo one, and the password is password. We save this and restart the service. At this point, we access uh, our instance. Typically, it's demo admin with the password that you were provided. We just go to Diagnostic Tools, Live Inspector, and we should see data being uploaded. This means that uh, the, the system is working. You can see the uh, last time that uh, you can see data with the, the, the timestamp when it was last loaded, and you can see data being uploaded. Uploading should take just a few seconds. In case it should take more, we suggest that you contact us so that we can upload the data from you and precede the system for, for you. While we are at it, one thing we can do is we can go to the home and start auto-configuring data. If you have data, so you have already the information about your queues, so go to storage information, auto-configure, it will create uh, all the, the queues for you. At this point, you can edit uh, the queues typically. For example, let's say that our queue 300. Qmetrix is not aware of the name, but uh, in our case, we can simply say, OK, instead of sample queue, it's called sales, say. We save and go back. At this point, if you run a report for sales, for example, we should find data. There you are. We are ready to set up the connection with uh, your PBX system so that uh, Asterisk can also that Qmetrix can send data to Asterisk and implement actions. This is quite easy to do. So we just have to, as you can see, there is a guide, but uh, we will just go here, copy this. We go to the place where there is a sample dial plan. As this is an Asterisk 18, we copy. Qmetrix18.conf to etc asterisk and edit the dial plan so that this is included etc asterisk we just go here and add an include in this case it's already present we save this reload This way, Asterisk will have this picked up. The second thing we have to do is to make sure how we can access Asterisk. So we look in the file uh, manager.conf. As you can see, there is a, a sample. In this case, where there is a user called admin with a secret of password. We write this down, and then we go to Qmetrix. We log in as admin. go to the edit system parameters. This is something that cannot be done um, automatically. We have to find where is the, the correct property to, to set uh, the interconnection to the asterisk system. It is here, 
call file.dir tcp admin and the password is password then we have to add another line that is written on the guide that basically tells Qmetrics to queue information about logins and logoffs so that it can be executed by Asterisk itself. We add it here, save and go back. The other thing you have to do is uh, with normal system parameters, you just call up the explorer. From here you can configure Qmetrics. We're going to to look for uh, the hot desking information. Hot desking, you can see, let's write 83, one day of uh, in seconds to go back. Okay, log off. Now we're ready to go. Let's say we want to log in as uh, agent 101, password is the same. You have to change it for uh, all of the users on your system. Okay, from here we can simply call up the agent logon panel. Say we want to work on sales, we have to enter the current extension that is 200 in my case. Click here. And your agent is logged on, you can see it from here. Let's see what happens if we start routing a call to sales. We have a call queued, we answer it, we can call up the call list. You can see that there is a call here that is live at this moment. You can see how long it's been waiting and how long it's been talking. And a panel opened here so that uh, in this panel you can have your CRM. This information, the agent ID for example and the unique ID of the call comes from the live asterisk system. Let's log off and see this uh, very cool out of the real-time page. Uh, sorry. We log in, call up real-time monitoring. We can see information about that, that there is a live call at this very moment. And we can see that we have an agent logged on if the call ends the call will be disconnected. As you can see, the agent is now green. Your system is now working, and now you can start using this uh, both uh, to monitor uh, your existing system and to interact with it. I hope you like Qmetrics Live, and I'm sure it will be a pleasant experience. Thank you.